afternoon. My name is Tracy Davis. I'm the director of production for the Lyric Opera of Kansas City. And I am Keith Brumley, the director of design and technical production for the Lyric Opera of Kansas City. <laughs> and we're back to talk about Pirates of Penzance in yes. the Keith and Tracy video show. Yes, we are. <laughs> so you were just downstairs in rehearsal. What did you see and learn in here? Well, right now we're rehearsing Pirates of Penzance right downstairs in our Lyric Theater studio, uh, which is a great advantage for us being upstairs in our offices on the sixth floor, being able to go downstairs and check in to see what's happening on a daily basis. So I went down there this morning and they're rehearsing uh, Mabel's aria, Poor Wandering Boy. I hope I said the right one. Time. I think it's Poor Wandering One. Poor Wandering One. Don't ask us to say it for <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> And the rehearsal processes down there right now are very intense because each, each moment of the show, each beat of the music, each word of the libretto is 100% completely choreographed. So it's a very intense rehearsal process. They're rehearsing many hours during the day to work out all of these little bits and rehearse them and rehearse them. So everyone remembers what they're doing. Now, who is the director of this production? That would be Dottie Danner. And uh, yes, Danner is a name that is familiar to you. Uh, that is because she is related to Blythe Danner, the wonderful actress. So this is a uh, working member of a very distinguished theatrical family. Uh, and the reason that this show is so rigorously choreographed is because Dottie is one up through the ranks of the Broadway tradition. She's a hoofer. She's a dancer. And uh, she knows exactly what it takes to put a Broadway musical on, on the stage. She has worked in film. She was in the original production of The Producers. And um, she was actually on stage at the Lyric Opera. She played Silver Dollar in one of our early productions of um, Baby Doe, when Russell was at, at the helm of the company. So Dottie's history with the company is quite extensive. We also have a unique factor in that both the lighting and the scenic designer are one person. That is true, and these are uh, Mr. Peter Dean Beck, who is a wonderful uh, set designer and lighting designer, who has had a uh, quite a lovely career, and, uh, and still does. Uh, he, the production was originally built for Glimmer Glass Opera uh, um, a number of years ago, and it is a pretty classic take on Pirates of Penzance. It's um, you're not going to be finding anything exotic or weird in this production uh, other than the fact that it lives and dies by the paint. It is a uh, very classic take on the sort of scenery that you would expect for Gilbert and Sullivan if you walked into a theater when this was a brand new show. So um, it is painted scenery, um, there's n almost no dimension to it, and um, for something like this it's great fun. It adapts itself well to mm -hmm. the style of Dottie Danner directing as well. There's lots of little bits, humorous bits, that are found in the scenery as well. Yeah, I, I think this production is going to take great joy in the fact that it's a creature of the theater. Mm -hmm. that, the, that the innate theatricality of the piece is something that is embraced, and there's an insider's knowledge that's going to be directed towards it, and you're going to see a lot of humor, I think, based on those sort of insider points of view. It's a young and up-and-coming cast. Three of our leads are making their Lyric Opera of Kansas City debuts. Uh, Marcus Beam, who is singing the Pirate King, it's his debut with us. And uh, Chad Johnson, who's singing Frederick, the lead tenor, it's his debut with us. And the very lovely Neely Reamer, the soprano singing Mab Mabel, it's her debut with us as well. And they're all, you know, very much up and coming and have sung at Minnesota Opera, Florida Grand, Glimmer Glass, Santa Fe, you know, definitely on that rise up and we're catching them at that point and, and they're great fun seeing them down in rehearsal already, just the interaction and the little bits that they're working out with Dottie. They've got some amazing timing and talent that's working really well in this production. Um, another one of the principals that's from out of town, Jennifer Roderer, who is singing Ruth, 
has sung with us before. She was in Turn of the Screw. So she'll be familiar to our audiences. Um, and then we've got some local favorites that are going to be back on our stage. Uh, John Stevens, who's a professor over at KU, uh, most recently was seen on our stage during John Brown, our world premiere that we did last spring. And uh, he's his knowledge of the Gilbert and Sullivan genre. He directs it at many places. He's actually done this role with Dottie Danner before. I think he's actually done the production in a variety of roles with Dottie before. So they've got a great knowledge of each other. And I believe he was in Merry Widow with, yes, with yes. Dottie, I think, as Everybody well. Everybody was in Merry Widow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and then Robert Brand, who is familiar both to the Lyric Opera of Kansas City audiences and also the KC Rep and many other theater companies. Oh, the Unicorn. Um, many theaters. Across the Kansas City area. He'll be joining us as the modern major general, spitting words out as fast as he can. <laughs> Which is really, really fast. Oh, days. yes. There will be a reprise of his aria mm -hmm. that is will shock the ears. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, and then, like, Traviata featured a lot of our UMKC apprentices. Pirates of Penzance is featuring a lot of our KU apprentices. Uh, Robert McNichols, who has been on our stage before, for um, he had a role in John Brown as well. He'll be singing the role of Samuel. And uh, Catherine Ratliff and Claire Jacobs, who are in their first year as an apprentice at KU, will be singing the roles of Kate and Edith, mm -hmm. two of the other lovely daughters that uh, are with Mabel. They'll be singing those roles. Now, just as we have an up-and-coming cast of singers, we also, in a way, have an up-and-coming conductor conducting the music for this production. But he's not n new to our audience. Is that right? He is not. Uh, Andy Anderson, that is uh, local to many Kansas City audiences, has, uh, has now moved to Mobile, Alabama, where he's the artistic director of Mobile Opera there. And uh, he has come back to Kansas City to conduct this for us. Mm. Yeah, and Andy, uh, locally, it, it was uh, the Puccini Festival, the Civic Opera, and... Um, and he even conducted for Lyric Opera of Kansas right. City. He was our assistant conductor for two years and also conducted uh, Barbara Seville two years ago. So it's good to have him back. It's a lot of fun. If I've never set foot into the Lyric Theater before, what would you say to me to convince me to come to this production at this time? Right now, in these times, I would say come because you are going to have the most enjoyable evening. You are going to laugh. You are going to have fun. It's that type of show. It's in English. It's uh, music and dialogue. And I think it's just bound to be a very fun evening that you can just forget about every other problem that you may have in your life. Just come here and for two and a half hours have a good fun time. Sounds about right. Yeah. You know, also, um, Musically, it's a little like sitting through a production of Hamlet. All these things that you've heard over the years and you go, oh, I didn't know that was from that. The music is so familiar. Like I, when I talk about it being like being a fever in the brain where it gets in there and it doesn't go away, that's actually a good thing. But, um, but it, is, it is so accessible, so familiar. And, when you, and as soon as they start singing, you're, the, the nickel will drop and say, oh. Oh, oh, that's right. And, um, you know, it's big sets, pretty lights, pretty costumes, pretty people. I mean, it's, it's just going to be this wonderful little delight on stage. And uh, I can think of a few things that would be a better way to pass, pass some time. Mm -hmm. So come on down. <laughs> <laughs>